What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to talk about a new concept that I've been learning in class, and that is Boolean Algebra. Now, Boolean Algebra seems pretty easy, but it can also get very complicated, and it actually is the basis for how computers are programmed. With this course, I imagine getting into basic Boolean Algebra, and then eventually getting into circuits. Now, Boolean Algebra is a set of values together with two binary operations and a unary operation. The two binary operations, I'm going to call them, are going to be two things you've heard of, plus and usually a dot, which in, in math circles means multiplication. And basically, the plus sign translates to an OR symbol. So if you've done computer programming and you know what OR means, so it's one or the other, and the multiplication sign translates to an AND symbol. If you've ever done programming well or other discrete mathematics courses. And also, there is an, the unary operation is a hat. So it's um, just the line above, just the line above a symbol. For instance, a, and this symbol means negate. And so whatever the value of a is, it is the opposite. Also. Each element, whatever symbol you give an element, can contain two values. It can contain a value of 1 or a value of 0. And this usually translates to true and false. <laughs> Moving on, um, the digital, digital logic or Boolean algebra has a few principles. Um, like all math, it has the associated property. So the associated property is that simply for all A, B, and C in B, you could change you could change where you do things, and it wouldn't make a difference. So, for instance, if I did A plus B plus C equals a plus B plus C. And this just means even though I've switched around, even though I've taken the C out and put and switched it with the A in the on the other side, they still equal each other because eventually you're just going to be you're going to be oring all these statements together. So in this example, you choose you do A or B, and then you or that answer with C, and in this example you or B or C first, and then you or it with A at the end. But they are equal to each other. There also is the there's also the distributor property where these properties distribute if they're if you put them next to parentheses, such as maybe you've seen a multiplication in real math. So if I do A plus B times C, it's equivalent to A plus B times, which is the AND symbol, A plus C. Because as you see, I distributed the A plus to the B and to the C and then put the, multi multiplica the multiplication in the middle or the AND symbol. So both of these are equivalent, equivalent Boolean statements. Also note that um, the existence of complements always means certain things, for instance, such as A plus A naught. Since it's A or A naught, that means one of them has to be true. And so I know I can conclude the statement is one or always true. But A and not A, A we know will always be false because they need to, for and they both need to be true. And we know that the not one of these must be different than the other. So they're not consistent. In, Bo in Boolean algebra, there's also something called De Morgan's law. And in De Morgan's law, it's a useful theorem that allows you to equate things equally to e equal to each other. So, for instance, let me show you guys an example. So if I have A plus B, and then I not all of that, that is equivalent to A and B, and then I'm not but not these, and then I'm not both of those variables. So note how these are different. 
So basically what De Morgan's Law teaches you is that in a nutshell, the the not if you not an a multiplication symbol, which is an and symbol, I like to call it, it is equivalent to an addition symbol or an or symbol. And same thing if you not an addition symbol, it's equivalent to an and symbol, which is pretty cool. And as for the variables, you would just change those. So for instance, how, how I can substitute this, how I can get rid of the hat over the positive sign over here on the left, what I can do here, what I can do is I can simply to get rid of that, I can simply change reverse it or change it to the other symbol so I can flip it between or and the and symbol, the plus and multiplication symbol, and then it'll be equivalent to this, and then I need to take into account these two symbols. Also, there is a double negation law. So what does that mean? It means you can have two hats over each other, and that's just equivalent to A, because I'm changing it to A naught with this line, and then I'm changing it back to A, whatever the value of A is with that line. So double negations really don't do much, but they are but they can come up. Also you could have a triple negation, which would be equal to, since it's an odd number of negations, would be equal to A0. And that's about it. Now using De Morgan's laws, I'm going to show you an example of a logic equation. Now a logic equation is an assertion that two logic equations are equal. So no matter what variables you put in, they, they will be equal no matter what the, the four whatever the value is equal one or zero and putting them together both equations will be equal to each other and return the same value so let me show you guys an example here so i've got a times b naught plus a naught times b i'm going to set this equal to a naught times b times x plus b naught. But here's the tricky thing. I'm going to double, I'm going to negate this whole statement. So let me show you guys how we can make see, prove that this is equal to that. So I'm going to start with the right side, which is okay because the left side is pretty simplified. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break up the very top negation symbol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this so I'm going to get rid of that negation symbol and negate the and symbol and make it a plus and so that will allow me to get rid of that section of the negate symbol and at least and spread it out sorry and here I put a instead of X I don't know why and again so still but still I've got my a plus B um, double complement and then I've got my a and then again, this is supposed to be a plus. I'm sorry, guys. I'm copying this off a piece of paper, and I have not copied it right. Anyway, so I've got my A complement still plus my Y complement. And let's try to do this again. So I've got the plus, and I look at these double negatives. Oh, my God, why did I do Y? So this is B, sorry. And now I see that A has a double negative, so I, can, I know A is just A. And I've got a plus here, so I'm going to make that a plus now. And I see that B just has one complement, so B becomes the plus. B becomes that, and now I can do a plus because I don't have anything to do there. And I see that A has a complement. So, well, I, I could use parentheses, but I don't need to. A has a complement that's not double negated, so I have an A hat or an A naught. And then B has a double negation, so I know it's just B. And look, this is equivalent to this statement right here. So we can say yay. I always like to write cursive. But yeah, so these statements are logical equations because we proved that they're equal to each other using De Morgan's laws. Sorry guys, I thought I was going to do something else, but now I'm kind of done with this tutorial and I hope you all enjoyed it. So um, check out my website, subscribe, comment. I really like it when you guys comment and have a great day.